The massacre last July at this Aurora theater set off a firestorm of calls for more restrictive gun laws and brought tearful testimony from victims' families this week. He was senselessly murdered by a man who walked into that theater with a weapon equipped with a hundred round magazine. He opened fire, killing 12, including my son Alex, and injuring physically 58 others. Those who treated victims also carry emotional scars. This was a tremendous number of patients in a very short period of time with emotional stories and just a very hard thing to go through for everybody. Now lawyers for James Holmes suffer a setback. The judge ruling Colorado's insanity defense process does not violate his constitutional right against self-incrimination or his right to remain silent, making it likely he'll plead not guilty by reason of insanity. And that will trigger all of the consequences of a not guilty by reason of insanity plea, including a required evaluation by the uh, state at the state hospital. State law requires Holmes to cooperate with that evaluation, opening up his medical records, including treatment from CU psychiatrist Lynn Fenton, who alerted CU police he might be dangerous. Legal analyst Dan Reck says that raises more questions for Holmes' defense. And if you assert your right to remain silent, are you not cooperating? and therefore you can't use the insanity defense. The judge promised to answer that question at the next hearing.